Hello, my name is Annette and this is Chemistry at Glance and another video with organic equations you need to know for your AS level exam. So there's a lot of talk to talk about about each of the of this um, of these uh, organic equations. I try to make really really short videos so if you're not happy uh, enough with the explanation. If you need some more in-depth definitions and uh, explanations, please visit my blog. I will leave the links for um, my blog posts related to each of this equation down in the description box, so go and visit that. If you're happy and the, this is a revision for you and not first time learning, um, we're gonna go further and explore the test for halogen or alkenes. There's a test for halogen or alkenes with silver nitrate, but there are a couple of steps you need to follow to get your results. The first step you need to do is add sodium hydroxide. As you can see, we have hyd sodium hydroxide, and that's exactly what we do in our nucleophilic substitution. Yes, that's correct. That's basically what we're doing. We are adding sodium hydroxide to our halogen alkane. To form a alcohol. And we form an alcohol because Remember, in nucleophilic substitution, when you created an alcohol, what you were left with also was that halogen or alkane with a minus, and that's what we're aiming for. So after you add your sodium hydroxide, um, we need to remove the excess of it, of this sodium hydroxide, using nitric acid. And the first step is to add the silver nitrate. When you add the silver nitrate, and it will find our chlorine, it will, they will bond together to form a precipitate. And here is their reaction. Here in this reaction, I included X, and not chlorine, because it, this could be either chlorine, bromine, or iodine. Um, so I think, I hope you're following. Uh, let's go through it again. So first of all, you add sodium hydroxide to our halogen alkane. You form an alcohol and you form that halogen with a minus. After you add sodium hydroxide, you remove the excess of hydroxide of sodium hydroxide by adding nitric acid. After you did this, um, you add the silver nitrate. Silver nitrate will show you what halogen or alkane it is. So this is the overall equation. We have a chlorine or bromine or iodine, which reacted from this reaction, where, which we got as a product from this reaction with sodium hydroxide. We add our silver nitrate, so our silver ions minus and a plus, they join together to form a solid. This solid means we got a precipitate because they were both aqueous, they are in solution, and when they join together, the moment they join together, they become solid, they precipitate out. And what's very important is that precipitate. If it's a chlorine precipitate, if it's a chlorine, we're gonna get a white precipitate. If it's a bromine, we're gonna get a cream precipitate. And if it's iodine, we're gonna get a yellow precipitate. So depending on what precipitate we get, that's the halogen that was used in the halogen alkene. And that's the test for halogen alkenes. If you're not too sure, what color you've got, you can also add ammonia. This is a further test with ammonia. If it's a chlorine, it will be dissolved in ammonia. If it's a bromine, 
it's going to be dissolved in concentrated ammonia. And if it's iodine, it's not going to be dissolved. So this is a further test for halogen alkanes if you're not too sure what precipitate you got. I really hope this was helpful and I hope all the other uh, short little revision movies I make are also helpful. If they are, leave the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you soon.